Hello, my name is Brian Nickerson and I'm the Senior Associate Dean for Master's Program for the Graduate School of Biomedical Sciences at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai. On behalf of the entire leadership of the school, it is my distinct pleasure to virtually welcome awardees, their friends and families, honored guests, and faculty and staff to the annual Master's Achievement Awards Ceremony. This is an important day as we conduct our annual awards ceremony for the master's programs, which is a reflection of the growth uh, of the school across the fields of public health, clinical research, biomedical sciences, data science, genetic counseling, biostatistics, and healthcare leadership and management, as well as the tremendous contributions and efforts of our graduate students at large and the faculty and leaders who support them. Truly, one of the very best parts of our jobs as educators is to celebrate the achievements of students who have dedicated themselves to the pursuit of knowledge and the advancement of science and the betterment of human health. Today, we have the extraordinary opportunity of convening, albeit virtually, to honor the very best of these student achievements. For these reasons, it's altogether fitting that we recognize and honor your collective and individual efforts. I would offer to our awardees and their families that moments such as these are critically important, not only to celebrate your well-deserved recognition, but also to reinforce the values which bind us all as a community of learners, striving to make ourselves and the world better. In these challenging times, these values are nothing short of essential. If you think of all the experiences you've had, people you've met, and organizations to which you've been a part, and I would add to all of the experiences yet to unfold for you, these are truly special moments in both a sense of recognizing individual achievement that represents the best of what people can accomplish, and in a much larger sense, towards a reminder of the things that we as a human society have yet to achieve. I suggest this latter notion not as a negative reminder, but as an indication that you should use rare moments like this, not only as a wonderful reflection of your extraordinary efforts as learners, yet also as a continuation, a reinvigoration, and a recommitment to the challenge of creating positive and enduring change for all, to which now you are uniquely prepared as members of the Mount Sinai community to meet. Indeed, I would offer that the universe has called you to do nothing less. Please accept my sincerest congratulations and wishes for continued success. It is now my pleasure to introduce you to Dr. Martha Filizola, Sharon and Frederick A. Klingensteed, Nathan G. Case, MD, Endowed Professor and Dean of the Graduate School of Biomedical Sciences. Thank you, Dr. Nickerson. Graduates, let us first acknowledge the tremendous hurdles you faced during this past year. I'm so proud of the work you have done and the obstacles you have overcome during your studies to get here. Today's awards are a testament to the hard work and devotion to healthcare and research embodied by our students. They recognize outstanding achievements in leadership, research and service to one's program, profession and peers. While it gives me great pressure as Dean of the Graduate School of Biomedical Sciences to be able to recognize the achievements of our students, I know I'm not alone in taking pride in your successes and accomplishments, but share the feeling with mentors, teachers, and principal investigators you worked with during your time at Mount Sinai. Today's awards are not just an honor to the students who received them, but also to the faculty members they worked with whose hard work and dedication help to support our students in achieving their full potential. Though we still find ourselves virtual, we are lucky to be joined today by those who also celebrate your accomplishments, many of whom provided support throughout your studies and take pride in today's celebration as well. Parents, siblings and family, significant others, partners and friends, classmates, co-workers and colleagues. Your successes today reflect not just your own tremendous efforts, but also the support you receive during your journey. The challenges our students faced this year were unlike any we'd encountered before. The repercussions continue to be felt and will for quite some time. But these future challenges are what our students have prepared for. With the graduation here, we want to remind you that you are not closing the book on your time with Mount Sinai, but starting a new chapter as alumni. As you face the challenges ahead, you do so as a representative of our institution, highlighting the values instilled in you during your time in the program and reflecting how you will always maintain a high level of integrity, altruism, 
and excellence in your pursuit of science. I know that I, for one, look forward to hearing about your next chapter. Thank you and congratulations. We now invite Dr. Nils Henning, Director of the Graduate Program in Public Health for the induction of students into the Beta Omicron chapter of Delta Omega. Hello, I'm Dr. Nils Henning, the Director of the Graduate Program in Public Health. I am pleased to recognize the graduating students of the Masters of Public Health program at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai, who have been induced into the Beta Omicron chapter of Delta Omega, the Public Health Honorary Society. Induction to membership in Delta Omega is intended not only to recognize merit, but also to encourage further excellence in and devotion to public health work. This year's inductees are Wendy Barillas, Vanessa Rock, Loreen Jones, Arti Vignes Varamorti, Alexandria Albert, Jacqueline Cortez, Anne Friese, Olivia Oberkircher, Amanda Singh, Ryan Berger, and Tanya Chang. It is my pleasure to honor your great achievements. Congratulations. In addition to recognizing the Beta Omicron chapter of Delta Omega, Mount Sinai recently started a chapter of the Upsilon Phi Delta, the National Honor Society for Health Administration. Students in the graduating class who are in the top quartile in academic achievement are eligible for this honor. Of these, only 10% are selected as inductees each year. Induction to membership in Upsilon Pi Delta is intended not only to recognize merit, but also to encourage further excellence in and devotion to health administration. It's my pleasure to introduce the names of our inaugural inductees. Daisy Chen, Dina Dos Mohamidi, Savan Ertel, Alyssa First, Maisha Ann Green, Stanley Harachin, Andrew Jayakoti, Anna Capistino, Navneet Kaur, Alexandra Leland, Joshua McLeod, Timothy Nig, Jenny Sun, Trisha Marie Tagle, Bepartap Thine, Harry Wong, and Jacqueline Yoon. In addition to the students inducted into Upsilon Pi Delta, we also recognize our award winners for the Masters in Health Administration and our Masters in Healthcare Leadership. This award is given to the students that demonstrate the highest level of achievement in their capstone project. Our first winner for the Outstanding Capstone Award in our MHA program is Jacqueline Yoon. Jacqueline Yoon serves as an administrative assistant at the Sanctuary for Families New York's leading service provider for survivors of human trafficking, domestic violence, and other forms of gender-based violence. Within both a nonprofit and healthcare setting, she is passionate about health equity for immigrant and refugee populations. She was recently selected as the recipient of the 2022 Leonard Achan Senior Health Equity Scholarship of Healthcare Leaders of New York. Upon graduating with her MHA, Jacqueline will be joining the University of Southern California's Alzheimer's Therapeutic Research Institute in San Diego as a data analysis. Congratulations, Jacqueline. The second recipient of the Outstanding Capstone Award in our Masters of Healthcare Administration program is Alexandra Leland. Alexandra Leland is graduating with a Master of Healthcare Administration degree from the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai. She graduated magna cum laude from Rutgers University, New Brunswick, in December 2020 with a Bachelor of Science in both Health Administration and Human Resource Management. Alexandra is currently working as a Radiology Services Liaison for Wild Cornell Imaging at New York Presbyterian, supporting their physicians in an effort to deliver the highest quality patient care possible. She's also a crisis text line counselor, providing real-time support to those in crisis situations. Alexandra plans to further her education in healthcare, hoping to advance to a director position in the future. 
Congratulations on your award today, Alexandra. Our final recipient of the Outstanding Capstone Award for our MHA program goes to Trisha Tagle. Trisha Tagle is a dedicated project manager in the Department of Neurology at Mount Sinai. She has brought her own experience in hospital operations and project management to the learning table of our MHA program while actively bringing what she's learned from our program into her current role. She has joined our MHA Mentors Program to continue guiding and sharing her experiences with future MHA students. Congratulations to you, Tricia. In our Healthcare Leadership Master's Program, the Outstanding Capstone Award is for projects that tackle real-world healthcare delivery problems, model a workable solution, begin implementing it, and report on the results. This year, we are very proud to present this award to two well-deserving graduates. The first recipient is David Roy Zucker, MD. Dr. Roy Zucker is a physician trained in internal medicine and infectious disease and a partner in the LGBTQ clinic in Tel Aviv. He functions as the secretary of the LGBTQ Health Society in Israel, a segment of the Israeli Medical Association. And during COVID, David served as the medical director of the COVID call center at the Megan David Adam Ambulance Services of Israel. David completed the first unique LGBTQ plus medical fellowship at Mount Sinai Hospital in New York and returned to Israel in July 2021, where he now serves as the director for the LGBTQ plus health services at Ikalov Medical Center in Tel Aviv and Kali, the biggest HMO in Israel, where he is focused on creating new health services for the LGBT community all over the country. An entrepreneur in his soul, David believes in the use of social media to engage and provide patients with better health care. Congratulations, David. The second recipient for the Outstanding Capstone Award is Romaine Branch, MD. Dr. Romain Branch completed undergraduate medical education at the University of the West Indies in Kingston, Jamaica. He holds dual certification with the American Board of Psychiatry and Neurology, ABPN, in general adult and addiction psychiatry. And over the past 20 years, practiced psychiatry in three countries. He has been an attending psychiatrist at municipal and private institutions and the leader of multiple graduate medical education programs, serving as a psychiatry residency program director for the State University of New York, SUNY Downstate, and Nassau University Medical Centers, respectively. He is currently a clinical associate professor of psychiatry at both the American University of the Caribbean and the New York Institute of Technology College of Osteopathic Medicine. Dr. Branch is intrigued by the relationship between medical education and the quality of patient care. He is committed to the development of programs which optimize the education of future psychiatrists within dynamic healthcare systems. Congratulations, Dr. Branch. Next, it is my pleasure to present the Excellence in Healthcare Leadership Award. This award is given to a student in the Masters of Science in Healthcare Leadership program who demonstrates the highest professional ideals of leadership excellence in healthcare. To be eligible, the recipient must achieve extraordinary success in both their coursework and current professional position, as well as be a model of leadership excellence for others to emulate. The recipient of this award is Shanna Patterson, MD. Shanna Patterson, MD, is a physician in the Department of Neurology at Mount Sinai West and Mount Sinai Morningside, where she has practiced for 12 years. She is also the Neurology Site Chair at these hospitals and the Director for Special Projects in System-Wide Neurology Clinical Operations. A native of California, Dr. Patterson completed both her BS in Animal Physiology and Neuroscience and her MD at the University of California at San Diego. 
She completed her neurology residency and fellowship in clinical neurophysiology at Columbia University College of Physicians and Surgeons in New York. She is honored to have the opportunity com to complete her master's of healthcare delivery leadership at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai. Congratulations, Shanna. The Excellence in Healthcare Administration Award is our next award. The recipient is Jenny Sun. Jenny Sun is completing her dual degree in the Masters of Public Health and Health Administration. During her time at the Icon School of Medicine, Mount Sinai, she co-founded and led a team to develop an app that aims to increase the quality of epidemiological data tracking with quality risk assessment for reopening strategies post COVID-19. Jenny also worked with the Department of Medicine to implement and manage process improvement projects across the Mount Sinai hospital system. Upon graduating, she will begin her career in healthcare consulting to deliver the highest quality and actionable intelligence and strategic insights to clients in the biopharmaceutical, med tech, and vaccines spaces. Congratulations on your award today, Jenny. The Outstanding Mission Contribution Award recognizes students who make significant contributions to the learning environment and reflect the healthcare leadership's program's mission of achieving personal leadership growth. Such individuals must demonstrate extraordinary diligence in mastering coursework, contributing to team-based learning, and promoting the core values of the program in their professional life. The recipient of this award is Georgios Siros, MD. Georgios Siros, MD is the Director of Arrhythmia Services at Mount Sinai, Queens and Brooklyn and Associate Director of Cardiology at Mount Sinai, Queens. He received his medical degrees, cum laude, from Athens University Medical School and then became a research scholar at Columbia University in the Department of Cardiology. He went on to complete a residency in internal medicine at Mount Sinai St. Luke's and Mount Sinai Roosevelt Hospitals. He subsequently completed a cardiovascular fellowship at St. Elizabeth's Medical Center, Boston, followed by an electrophysiological fellowship at the Mount Sinai Medical Center in New York City. After becoming an attending, he managed to introduce advanced cardiac procedures at Sinai Queens and managed to work with senior leadership to bring the brand name and quality of Mount Sinai heart to the communities of Brooklyn and Queens. These efforts culminated in expanding the Department of Cardiology by 400%. His plans are to improve cardiology care in Queens now that new facilities are being established and to elevate the electrophysiology practice in Brooklyn. Congratulations, Georgios. For our Master's in Healthcare Administration program, the Outstanding Mission Contribution Award is presented to Maisha Ann Green. Maisha Ann Green enrolled in the MHA program at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai in September, 2020. Navigating this program has equipped her with salient tools and technologies to make a difference in the US healthcare system the skills relevant to streamlining patient care quality, and to create and understand the value story behind continuous improvement in healthcare. A major milestone that Maisha was fortunate enough to have completed during her time in the MHA program was her Certified Associate in Project Management certification. Maisha is looking forward to the past this degree and her certification will lead her on as her career progresses. Congratulations, Maisha. Our last two awards today for our Master's in Healthcare Administration program are for Outstanding Service Award. Our first recipient of this award is Dina Dos Mohamedi. In the fall of 2021, Dina joined the Master's of Health Administration program at Mount Sinai, where through an accelerated track, she was able to complete her degree within one year. During her time at Mount Sinai, alongside her coursework, Dina served on the Student Council 
as the financial services representative. As a mentor in MedDocs, she taught medical topics to New York City high school students in weekly classes and volunteered with mentoring in neuroscience discovery at Sinai to prepare a brain fair for K through 12 students on Brain Awareness Week. Later, Dina served as a motivational guest speaker for a pre-med club at Manhattan Center for Mathematics and Science. During the Omicron crisis, she joined the student workforce aiding the Mount Sinai Health System, a time of extensive staff shortages, which led to her contributions being featured in an article published on the Mount Sinai Today website. This year, at the 2022 Annenberg Art Competition, Dina was selected as a winner for her artwork, a realistic sketch of an eye titled Inspire, which is currently being showcased on campus. For her capstone project, Dina designed and wrote a business plan for a new and innovative diabetes prevention and management program in Los Angeles County that combines technological innovations with population health and standard practices to facilitate patient engagement and reduce barriers to access. This summer, Dina will be starting medical school with long-term plans of tying together the knowledge she gained through her program and clinical education with the goal of working towards advanced healthcare quality. Dina is sincerely grateful for all the incredible support she received from everyone in her program and all the wonderful people she had the pleasure of meeting at Mount Sinai. It is truly an honor to be part of the Mount Sinai family. Congratulations to you, Dina. Our final recipient for the Outstanding Service Award for our Master's in Healthcare Administration program is presented to Varun Savaral. During his time here at the Graduate School of Biomedical Sciences, Varun had the amazing opportunity to learn from the vast experiences that the faculty and students brought to this education. It was a pleasure to learn the intricacies of the American healthcare system and how to navigate it with a patient-centered mindset and with the benefit of the population in mind. Varun looks forward to utilizing his great experience and work to make our healthcare system more patient-centric, efficient, and equitable. He plans to use the start of this new journey to make a difference in the life of at least one patient every day. Congratulations, Varun. Dr. Nils Henning will now present awards to the graduates of the master's programs in public health. And now I'm pleased to present the Outstanding Culminating Experience Awards. The Outstanding Public Health Culminating Experience Award recognizes a master's students of the graduate program in public health who demonstrates extraordinary academic achievement and makes a significant impact to the field of public health with their MPH culminating experience through a thesis, manuscript, or capstone project. This year, we are very proud to present this award to three well-deserving recipients. The first recipient of the Outstanding Culminating Experience Award for his thesis project is Gregory Rose. Gregory began pursuing his MPH degree in the second semester of his DPM degree at the New York College of Pediatric Medicine. The college offers a dual degree program with the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai. Gregory is so happy and grateful for this opportunity. Through his time here, he has gained a better understanding of the U.S. healthcare system, as well as the large and small components of the United States public health system. He has developed a deeper appreciation for medical research and literature, biostatistics and epidemiology. The most memorable of all of Gregory's experiences will always be volunteering at the Guggenheim Pavilion during the initial distribution of the COVID-19 vaccine. Gregory wants to give a thank you to Mount Sinai and the New York College of Pediatric Medicine for this opportunity. He will keep the many lessons he has learned here in mind and is confident that they will help him to become a better student, doctor, and human being. Gregory also wants to thank Matthew Bainey and all his other professors for a wonderful experience. Congratulations, Gregory. 
the next recipient of the Outstanding Coordinating Experience Award for her manuscript is Olivia Oberkircher. Even before formally beginning her education at Mount Sinai, the COVID-19 pandemic brought about a public health emergency. Olivia answered the call to action by becoming a student volunteer, first by distributing PPE at Mount Sinai, Sinai Morningside, and then finally by working alongside medical students at the Mount Sinai Beth Israel Pharmacy, delivering patient medications and stocking the pharmacy. During her time at Mount Sinai, she TA'd for multiple classes and monitored fellow students. She worked on research in Uganda through the Global Health Summer Program and will be visiting the clinic there post-graduation. Finally, when uh, Russia's war of aggression in Ukraine started, she saw a vital need to catalog attacks on healthcare in real time. With the guidance of Dr. Annie Sparrow, she created a timeline of attacks on healthcare that has since been widely used and circulated in the global health community. Following graduation, Olivia will be moving to Switzerland to continue her work with Dr. Annie Sparrow as a research associate. Congratulations, Olivia. Our third recipient is Candice Medina, receiving the Outstanding Culminating Experience Award for her manuscript. Candice is graduating from the Masters of Science in Epidemiology program. She joined the Department of Psychiatry's Siva Center, Janneke Lab. During her time at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai, Candice was chosen to give an oral presentation at Public Health Research Day on her research surrounding potential disparities in the psychopharmacologic medication prescribed to schizophrenia spectrum patients or different races and ethnicities. After graduation, she's applying to medical school in hopes of better understanding and transforming health system as a physician using public health skills that address inequities in health status. Congratulations, Candice. The Excellent in Public Health Practice Award recognizes MPH students who make an outstanding contribution to the field of public health in their applied practice experience. The applied practice experience is a core requirement of the MPH degree, where students have the opportunity to translate theory into practice with a professional public health setting. This year's first awardee is Deborah K. Grant. Deborah K is an MPH student in the environmental health science track. Deborah has worked for community-based organizations for several years, and the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai has been instrumental in helping her to build and develop new skills while leveraging her previous experience. Notably, in spring 2021, she was given the opportunity to complete her APE at Mount Sinai's Department of Environmental Medicine as part of the Public Health Internship Program. The program helped her to develop her research, community involvement, community service, and leadership skills. In the spring of 2022, she served as a teaching assistant for her two of her previous courses. Deborah is grateful for the support and mentorship that she has received as a student, as they have brought about invaluable development and growth. As a result of her work and partnership, she has been presented with several job offers to continue her passion for health equity. The second awardee is Sherry Omien. Sherry completed her master's in public health with a concentration in health promotion and disease prevention. She served on the advisory committee in the hopes of advocating and supporting graduate students as they manage their academic standings. Throughout her time at Sinai, she interned at the nation's largest substance use nonprofit through the co collaboration with Sinai's faculty and the Sinai alumni, where she developed Asian American specific substance use related content using themes researched from a systematic literature review, which was selected for and presented at the APHA 49th conference in 2021. Sherry now works full time at the same nonprofit as a research associate, where she develops content for a nationwide text messaging program for families 
with a loved one str struggling with substance, coordinates research for our NIAAA grant, and volunteers time at the digital helpline. The third recipient of the award is Anita Ofusu Opaya. While pursuing her MPH at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai, Anita was able to connect with wonderful faculty, students, and staff. She was also able to participate in the Global Health Summer Program, where she assisted with research being conducted in her home country of Ghana. After completing the MPH, Anita plans to continue working for the graduate program in public health and advocating for the strengths of the program. Congratulations to Anita, Sherry, and Deborah Kay. Next, it is my honor to present the Excellence in Public Health Leadership and Service Award. This award recognizes an MPH student who demonstrates leadership's excellent and a strong commitment to service within a community. This year, we are very proud to present this award to two well-deserving recipients. The first is Varsha Venu. Varsha joined the graduate program in public health, concentrating in healthcare management at the Icon School of Medicine of Mount Sinai from Manipal University, India, where she got her MD degree. After joining the program in fall 2020, she worked as North Help Coalition, a Mount Sinai program dedicated to improving the emergency preparedness of medically vulnerable populations and their healthcare providers, particularly focusing on the dialysis community. Warsha worked with the coalition to provide preparedness training tools and advocacy efforts through the implementation of an emergency preparedness program for outpatient dialysis providers in New York City, a program grant-funded by the New York City Department of Health and Mental Hygiene. Throughout her two years in the graduate program in public health, she also served as a teaching assistant for three courses which she found invaluable to her training as it improved her subject matter knowledge and fostered peer connection. Varsha would like to express her appreciation and gratitude to her family, friends, and the many faculty members at Mount Sinai for all their support, love, and guidance throughout this incredibly rewarding academic journey. Varsha's goal after graduation is to utilize the skills and knowledge gained from the program and seek work opportunities within the Sinai health system, wherein she can showcase and combine her passions for public health and healthcare management. Congratulations, Varsha! This year's second recipient is Hannah Johnson. Hannah studied in the global health track with an epidemiology biostatistics concentration. She interned and completed her capstone with the Mount Sinai program in global mental health, a Ministry of Health of Liberia collaborator since 2011. Her team identified a non-profit distributor that will support their efforts to address the psychotropic medication shortage in Liberia. During her studies, Hannah also volunteered in the COVID-19 vaccine pods and conducted research with another MPH graduate, leading to a publication in Health Equity. After graduation, she will continue to support the program in global mental health while pursuing meaningful work with similarly-minded organizations in the city. Congratulations, Hanaf. Thank you again to Dr. Henning and congratulations to all of the awardees from the Public Health Program. Drs. Jose Silva and Josvan Poren will now present the awards for Masters of Science in Biomedical Sciences Awards. I'd like to add my welcome and congratulations to all this year's award recipients. My name is Jose Silva and I'm the, the director of the Master of Science in Biomedical Sciences Program. I am pleased to introduce the recipients of this year's Master of Science in Biomedical Science Award for a scientific excellence. This award is given to IMSDS student who has contributed significantly to the experimental design of the master project, who has produced a clearly written and well-organized thesis, and who has shown exemplary productivity while in the program. And this year's recipient is Mackenzie Lagarde. 
During her time in the program, Mackenzie has had the opportunity to be the co-director of two programs, the peers for the MSBS and MSBBS programs, and the food MD program with Sinai Student Clinic in Hope. She assisted in redoing the MSBS school page and has served as a peer mentor to first year students. As a co-director of peers, Mackenzie co led the peers program to create a master's specific program about navigating and maintaining good mental health and wellness. Through him help, she co-directed a grocery prescription program which provided food institute patients with comor comorbidities access to fresh fruits and vegetables. She has also been very successful in her research. She received an award for best poster in neuroimaging at the BMI BME Symposium in spring of 2022 and published a first alpha publication in March of 2022 in Frontiers in Neurology. Additionally, Mackenzie had two accepted abstracts to the International Society for Magnetic Resonance in Medicine, a 2022 International Conference in London, where she presented a poster and had an oral power pitch. Mackenzie has been honored with being chosen as the student speaker for master commencement this year and in the fall. She will continue contributing to the Sinai community through her research and outreach as a PhD student. Congratulations, Mackenzie. Next, we have the honor to introduce the recipient of this year's Master of Science in Biomedical Science Award for Academic Excellence. This award is given to the student who has achieved the highest GPA of the graduating class. The recipient for the Biomedical Science Award for Academic Excellence is Abrisham Eskandari. Abrisham joined the MSBS program after graduating from the University of Pittsburgh, where she studied chemistry and political science and worked for two years in an inpatient cardiology unit at the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center. She joined the lab of Dr. David Kukasian and at the start of the pandemic, initiated and led the study focused on the retrospective analysis of demographic and clinical factors that may contribute to COVID-19 associated outcomes where she used data from the Mount Sinai Health System COVID-19 database. This work produced two peer-reviewed publications in PLOS One, one which she serves as co-first author. Upon completing these projects, she continued working on her thesis project, assessing the effects of low-dose ionizing radiation on cardiovascular disease risks. She has had the opportunity to submit an abstract and present her work as part of the 2021 NASA Human Research Program Investigators Workshop, NASA's annual research conference. She also contributed to a fourth published paper on the effects of low-dose ionizing radiation on gene expression in cardiomyocytes published in cells. While continuing her thesis project, she worked as a full-time research fellow and clinical research coordinator for Dr. Amy Kontorovich at the Cardiovascular Research Institute. In this role, she is involved with multiple clinical studies of various genetic cardiovascular conditions. Outside of academics and research, she served as the accessory referral manager at the East Harlem Health Outreach Partnership, in short, the EHOP clinic. She volunteered with the COVID-19 Student Task Force served as a student ambassador for the MSBS program and was a peer mentor in the trainee health and wellness committee for incoming MSBS students. Abrisham hopes to continue on to medical school and apply the knowledge she has gained at the Icon School of Medicine of Mount Sinai to improving medicine and science. Congratulations, Abrisham. I'm pleased to introduce the recipient of this year's Master of Science in Biomedical Science Award for Excellence in leadership and service. This award is given to a student who goes above and beyond the requirements of the MSPS program to serve his or her peers and the greater Mount Sinai community. Put simply, this award is given to a person who has worked hard to make the life of others better. This year, we are honored to present this award to Jisha Dave. During her time at the program, Jisha was the director of the MSPS per metering as well as the curriculum co-director of peers for the MSBS and MSBBS programs. As MSBS peer mentorship director, she shall let the second year student mentors and had first year mentees on her own. 
She also hosted social events for first year students with PhD per mentorship and helped out with admission sessions and prospective students outreach. As curriculum co-director of PEERS, Yisha co-lead the PEERS program specifically by working with her co-directors and faculty advisors to create master's program centric sessions about approaching and maintaining good mental health and wellness. In addition, Yisha was a clinic manager at Mount Sinai Hihop Clinic, a volunteer with MedStart, a volunteer for the hospital's COVID-19 related efforts, and an author of contributor to her own and her lab tape, lab mates manuscript that are currently in process. After graduation, Yisha will be attending medical school at Rowan University in Stratford. Congratulations, Yisha, and all of the MSBS awardees. Congratulations again to Yesha, Abashim, and Mackenzie and the entire Masters in Biomedical Science program. Dr. Janice Gabrilov will now present the awards for the Clinical Research Program. Good morning. I am Dr. Janice Gabrilov, the James F. Holland Professor of Medicine and Associate Director for Education and Training for the Tisch Cancer Institute and Director of the Clinical Research Education Program in the Graduate School of Biomedical Sciences. I'm absolutely delighted to present two awards, the Excellence in Leadership and Service Award in the Clinical Research Education Program, as well as the Outstanding Thesis Award in the Master of Science in Clinical Research. The Excellence in Leadership and Service Award in the Clinical Research Education Program is given to students who have taken a leadership role in the program and have dedicated significant time developing and implementing student and program activities, bringing the clinical research education program community together. The Outstanding Thesis Award in the Masters of Science in Clinical Research is granted in recognition of students who have demonstrated excellence and accomplishment in clinical and translational science and whose thesis work exhibits significant mastery and contribution in a particular area of patient-oriented research. This year, we are very proud to present both of these awards to two outstanding recipients. Our first awardee for the Excellence in Leadership and Service Award in the Clinical Research Education Program and the Outstanding Thesis Award in the Master of Science in Clinical Research is Olivia Cullen. Olivia Cullen is graduating with a Master's of Science in Clinical Research. She completed her thesis on the applications of artificial intelligence in image classification. Additionally, she was a recipient of the 2021 Mount Sinai Innovation Award for her work in machine learning. Following graduation, she will begin an MD PhD at Mount Sinai with a concentration in artificial intelligence and emerging technologies under the tutelage of Garish Nadkarni. Congratulations on receiving both of these awards, Olivia. We look forward to much future success. Our second recipient of the Excellence in Leadership and Service Award in the Clinical Research Education Program and the Outstanding Thesis Award in the Master of Science in Clinical Research is Jasmine Modassi. Jasmine Modassi came to the Master's in Clinical Research Education Program from the University of Western Ontario in Canada where she received her Bachelor of Science in Developmental Cognitive Neuroscience. During her time at Mount Sinai, she has worked with many outstanding investigators on research in schizophrenia and psychosis, including an independent study and her master's thesis project. She was also a member of the Student Trainee Health and Wellness Committee as part of the social media team and as a host on the Wellness Podcast. She will be returning to Mount Sinai in the fall of 2022 in pursuit of a PhD in clinical research. Congratulations, Jasmine, on receiving these honors so well-deserved. We look forward to all your future accomplishments. Our final award today is presented by Randy Zimberg from our Genetics Counseling Program. Hello, my name is Randy Zimberg and I am the Director of the Graduate Program in Genetic Counseling. It is my pleasure to present the Genetic Counseling Program Award for Student Excellence. The Genetic Counseling Program Award for Student Excellence recognizes the graduating student who consistently demonstrated outstanding achievement in academics, patient care, and clinical research. 
This year, we are very pleased to present this award to Madison Mira. Madison came to Mount Sinai after completing her BA in biology and sociology from Williams College. In addition to all of her academic, clinical, and research achievements, she volunteered with the East Harlem Health Outreach Partnership, served as a mentor to prospective genetic counseling students for the Minority Genetics Professional Network, was a member of the Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Committee of the Department of Genetics and Genomic Sciences, and worked part-time at Semaphore, a genetic testing laboratory. Her master's thesis is titled, Elective Genetic Testing, Genetics Professionals, Perspectives and Practices. Madison is excited to begin her career as a reproductive genetic counselor at New Jersey Perinatal Associates, a group of high-risk pregnancy centers. Congratulations, Madison. Once again, congratulations to all of today's awardees. Your family, your friends, and everyone in the Mount Sinai community is proud of your exceptional achievements. And to those of you who have supported our awardees, stood by them through their years of hard work and helped to achieve them these honors, I thank you on their behalf. This concludes our 2022 Achievement Awards Ceremony. We hope that you are able to join us for our in-person master's program commencement this afternoon at 12.30 p.m. The event will also be live streamed on our website and YouTube channel. We hope you will join us for this ceremony. Thank you for joining us today.